Hello students, today we will learn about computer, which is an electronic device. Computer is an electronic device. It is used almost everywhere. A computer helps us to do many things. We can draw pictures, type letters, play games, solve sums, watch movies and cartoons, listen to music. Students, let us discuss computer versus man. A computer works very fast and can do many jobs at the same time. A man needs more time to do any work as compared to a computer. A computer has a good memory. It never forgets anything that is stored in it. A man may forget the information stored in his mind. A computer does not make any mistake. A man can make mistakes. A computer cannot take its own decisions. A man can take his own decisions. A computer works on a man's orders. A man does not need any order to work. A computer does not have any feelings. For example, if you hit a monitor, it does not react. A man has feelings. For example, if you get hurt, you feel it. Let's understand the working of computer. A computer cannot work on its own. We need to enter letters, numbers, pictures and instructions into the computer to make it work. These are called data. Different parts of a computer do different tasks. A computer works in three basic steps. Input, blunt pencil. Process, sharpening. Output, sharp pencil. Input, dirty clothes. Process, washing. Output clean clothes. Students, let us understand these steps by taking an example of our body. When a teacher asks us a question, we hear with our ears and see with our eyes. The ears and eyes are the input units. Our brain stores everything that a teacher says. Then it thinks of an answer and orders us to speak. In this way the brain works like a processing unit. When we answer with our mouth, it works like an output unit. Input The data and instructions that we enter into a computer are called input. We input data using a keyboard and a mouse. Process. Working on the data is called processing. The CPU works on the data and does all the thinking and calculations. Output. Output means the final result. When the CPU finishes processing the data, the output is displayed on the monitor. Monitor and printer are the most common output devices. Okay, let us understand the working of computer with an example. The data and instructions together are the input. Here 2 and 5 are the data and plus is the instruction. Now the CPU will work on the data according to the instructions. That is, it will add the numbers 2 and 5. 7 is the correct result or output of the sum. 2 plus 5 that is equal to 7. Input 2, 5 plus. 
process 2 plus 5 output 7 to what are the advantages of computer teaching it helps the teachers to get information on any topic on the internet as well as present it nicely storage capacity it stores a large amount of information multitasking it can do many tasks at the same time for example you can listen to music while typing a letter on a computer automation a computer can work in an automatic way this makes our work less prone to errors electronic presentation text and pictures in a computer can be presented in a beautiful way moreover these can be edited whenever needed calculation a computer can perform complex calculations without making any mistake entertainment it is a good source of entertainment for the children speed a computer works very fast without getting tired. Students, now let me tell you what are the disadvantages of computer. Decisions A computer works on human orders as it cannot take its own decisions. Impact on environment A computer depends on electricity. To generate electricity, a lot of fuel is burnt in power plants that causes pollution. Cyber crime. Use of internet may also increase the number of crimes like stealing of data, banking frauds, etc. Costly. It is a costly device. Virus attacks. Your computer system is prone to virus. If attacked, it may not function as desired. Health Working for a long time on a computer may affect the eyesight and physical growth of... Hello students, today we will talk about role of computers. Let us now talk about uses of computers in different fields. You must have seen computers at many places. They are used in almost all fields and play an important role in our life. Computers are used for At homes, computer is used for Watching movies and listening songs Searching information on any topic Playing games Doing homework In schools, computer is used for Keeping records of books and helping teachers in teaching. Making timetable, report cards and library records. Doing practical work in lab, helping to draw and color. At shops and offices, computer is used for Keeping records of items Typing and printing bills Sending and receiving messages in offices. In banks, computer is used for Keeping the records of our accounts. Taking out money from ATMs. At hospitals, computer is used for Keeping records of patients. Preparing medical reports and x-rays etc. Knowing more about diseases and their causes. At railway stations and airports, computer helps in booking tickets, keeping records of all the passengers, giving information about arrival and departure timings. In space, research and defense, computer helps in Finding information about space Sending rockets into space Helping the military to make security weapons In learning new skills, computer helps in 
learning how to drive a car or fly an aeroplane, learning different languages, cooking and much more. In designing, computer helps in designing clothes, cars, machines, buildings, etc. It also helps in designing and printing books, newspapers, magazines, etc. Making cartoons and animated movies. Hello students, today we will learn about file management. Children, have you ever thought why your mother keeps your pens, pencils, eraser, etc. in a pencil box, your clothes in an almira, your shoes in a shoe rack? She stores and organizes the things in such a way so that you can find them easily and quickly whenever needed. These objects in which she stores things are called storage places. Okay, let us have a look at the storage places that we use in our daily life. Refrigerator It is used to store fruits, vegetables, milk, sweets, etc. School bag we keep our books, notebooks, pen and pencil etc. in it. Lunch box. We use it for keeping our lunch and snacks. Cupboard. We store our clothes, books and toys separately in a cupboard. Whenever we need anything from a cupboard, we can find it at the right place and use it quickly. If we do not place our things in proper order, then finding them will take a lot of time and create chaos. Till now, we have learned that a computer can store large amount of information. But do you know how this data gets stored in a computer? As we keep important papers and documents in a file, likewise, any information in a computer is saved in the form of a file. Ok students, now let us talk about file. A file is a collection of related information stored together on some storage device, such as hard disk, CD, DVD or pen drive, for saving a file. Example, let us say when your teacher explains any concept in a class, it is always better to take the notes and store them in your notebook. Otherwise, you might forget these concepts during exams and be unable to collect them. When we organize our bag, we add name slip on each notebook to identify it quickly. Likewise, the files that we create in a computer need to be saved. We can recall and use the saved files whenever needed. When you save a file in a computer, it is saved with a unique name called file name. Creating a file Students, let us learn how to create a file in a Word document. Click on the start button. Go to the all programs option. Choose Microsoft Office and select Microsoft Word 2010. A new blank document will open in Word. Bring the mouse pointer to the cursor position. Type your name and press the enter key. The cursor will move to the next line. Type your age and press the enter key. Now type your address. Once you have completed, then save your file. Find out how to save a file. Follow the given steps to save a file. Click on the file tab. A list of options will appear. 
Select the Save option. The Save as dialog box appears. Choose the location and specify the name of the file in the File Name text box. Click on the Save button. All right students, let us see how to open a file. Once your file is saved, you can open it again whenever needed. To open the file, follow the given steps. Click on the file tab. Choose the open option from the displayed list. The open dialog box will appear. Choose the location where your file is saved. Select the desired file. Click on the open button. Students, today we will learn about input and output devices. A human body is made up of different parts. Each part has a special work to do. In the same way, a computer is made up of different parts. All these parts joined together make a computer work. The parts of a computer are divided into three main categories. Input devices, output devices, storage devices. Let us first talk about the input devices. The devices which are used to enter data into a computer are called input devices. Some of the common input devices are as follows. Keyboard A keyboard has many buttons which are called keys. A keyboard is used for typing letters, words, numbers and special symbols. A standard keyboard has 104 keys. Mouse A computer mouse has two buttons on it. It is used to point, move and select any item on the computer screen or monitor. A mouse also helps us to draw pictures and play games. Microphone a microphone is used to record voice and different sounds into a computer. It also helps us to talk to our friends through internet. Output Devices These devices are used to display and give the final output. Some of the most common output devices are described below. Monitor a monitor looks like a TV screen. It shows the text typed in and the work done by us. It also displays the results. Printer A printer is used to print the text or pictures on paper. It can be used to take both black and white or colored printouts. The printed copy on a paper is called the hard copy. The commonly used printers are dot matrix, inkjet, laser. Speakers Speakers allow us to listen to music and hear sound effects stored on a computer. Headphones Headphones are used to listen music as well as record sounds without disturbing others. Headphones are also known as earphones. Hello students, today we will learn about keyboard and its special keys. A keyboard is an important part of computer. It has many keys on it. These keys are used to type letters, numbers and symbols. Let us discuss some keys. Numeric keys alphabet keys caps lock key space bar key enter keys arrow keys delete key let us first talk about the alphabet keys 
Alphabet keys have letters on them from A to Z, but they are not given in an alphabetical order. Alphabet keys are 26 in number. We can type letters, words and sentences with the help of alphabet keys. Let's do an activity. Type name. Press the keys that spell your name. You will find your name on the screen. Number keys. Number keys have numbers on them. These keys are 10 in number, that is from 0 to 9. Number keys are present above the alphabet keys and are placed in order. We can type our age, roll number, house number, etc. by using these keys. The number keys are also present on the right side of the keyboard. This is called the numeric keypad. Let's understand with an activity. Type your roll number. Press the enter key. The cursor will move to the next line. A cursor is a small blinking line on the screen. Now type your age. Doubt what are the special keys. These keys have different symbols on them like Plus, minus, multiplication, forward slash, double quote, colon, semicolon, single quote, backslash, asterisk, caret, apostrophe, at, hash, dollar, percentage, exponential, and parenthesis, underscore, equal to, curly braces, square braces, Question mark, smaller than, greater than, full stop, comma. There are some more keys on the keyboard known as special keys. Following are the special keys. Space bar key. The space bar key is the longest key on the keyboard. It is used to give spaces between the text. Let's understand with an activity. Let us type a sentence. My name is Kabir. Now press the space bar key once between the words to give a space. Output. My name is Kabir. Caps lock key. The caps lock key is used to type letters in capitals. Press the caps lock key once. The caps lock light will turn on. Type, I like my school. Press the caps lock key again. The caps lock light will turn off. Type the sentence again and see the difference. Enter key. The enter key is used to bring the cursor to the next line on the monitor. A keyboard has two enter keys. Type, I am in class second. Press the enter key once. The cursor will jump to the next line. Arrow keys. There are four arrow keys that help to move the cursor on the screen. Up arrow key is used to move the cursor up. Down arrow key is used to move the cursor down. Left arrow key is used to move the cursor to the left. Right arrow key is used to move the cursor to the right. Backspace key. The backspace key raises the letters to the left side of the cursor. Type. I live in Delhi. Where is the cursor now? It is after the word Delhi. Press the left arrow key and bring the cursor after the word I-N-N. -N. 
Press the backspace key to erase the extra N from the word INN. Delete key. The delete key raises the letters to the right side of the cursor. Type. I like to eat mangoes. To delete the letter G in the sentence, move the cursor using the left arrow key to the left of the letter G. Press the delete key. The letter G will be removed. Let's find out what are the punctuation keys. Punctuation marks are the special symbols that are used while writing a paragraph or a sentence. These symbols bring clarity in a language. Some common punctuation marks are full stop, comma, question mark, exclamation mark, etc. Now let us talk about the combination keys. A key that is used in combination with another key for doing a particular operation is called the combination key. For example, Shift, Control and Alt. Shift key. The shift key is used to type special symbols and punctuation marks present on the upper part of the keys. There are two shift keys on the keyboard. For example, hold down the shift key and press the number key 1. You will get the exclamation mark on the monitor. It is also used to type alphabets in capital letters when the caps lock key is turned off. Control key. This key is marked as control. It is used in combination with other keys to perform certain actions. For example, Control plus Home to move the cursor to the top of a document. Control plus End to move the cursor to the end of the document. Alt key Alt plus F4 to close the program. Control plus Alt plus Delete to shut down a computer. Hello students, let us learn more about some interesting features of MS Paint. In the previous lesson you have learned to draw and fill color in the various shapes. In this lesson you will learn some more tools provided by the Paint software. Magic of control buttons Minimizing the paint window Click on the minimize button The paint window is hidden from the main screen Its icon can be seen on the taskbar Maximizing the paint window now click on the paint icon on the taskbar. The paint window covers the entire desktop screen. Resizing the paint window. Click on the middle button that is restore button. The paint window will become smaller in size. Again click on the middle button that is maximize button the paint window will get back to its normal size how to use tools group the tools group has many tools that have different functions these tools help us in making drawings to use any tool in the tools group simply click on it the tool will be selected. Move the pointer to the drawing area. Press and hold down the left mouse button. Now drag the mouse to draw a picture. When the picture is complete, release the button. Students, let me give you a tip. To know the name of a tool, place the pointer on that tool. 
pencil tool. The pencil tool is used to draw free form lines or curves. Select the pencil tool from the tools group. Select any color from the colors group. Move the pointer to the drawing area. Press and hold down the left mouse button and drag the pointer to draw kites as shown in the figure. Adding text. Click on the text tool. The pointer changes to eye shape. Click and drag the pointer on the drawing area where you want to place the text. A dotted rectangular box will appear with a blinking cursor inside it. Type the text as shown in the text box. Eraser tool. The eraser tool is used to erase any part of a picture. Select the eraser tool from the tools group. Choose the size of the eraser by clicking on the desired option in the size button menu. A square will appear in the drawing area. Hold down the left mouse button and move it on the area that you want to erase. Brush tool Brush tool is used to draw objects with different kinds of brushes. To use it, click on the brushes drop down arrow. Select any brush type from the list of available options. Select any color from the colors group. Move the pointer to the drawing area. Press and hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse to draw different lines. Using airbrush tool. Airbrush tool is used to spray color on the drawing area. Select any color from the colors group. Click on the brushes drop down arrow and select the airbrush option. Select the desired spray size from the size button. Move the mouse pointer onto the drawing area. Click the mouse button on the area where you want to spray the color. Students know that in the same manner you can make use of other brushes. Let us find out how to save the drawing. It is important to save your work at short intervals so that you do not lose it in case of power failure. Click on the paint button and select the save option. The save as window appears on the screen. Type a name in the file name box. Click on the save button. Now your drawing is saved in the computer. Now let us learn how to close paint window. In order to close the paint window, click on the close button placed at the top right corner of the window or click on the paint button and select the exit option.
Students, let me tell you how to open the saved drawing. The drawing that you have saved can be opened anytime. To open a saved drawing, first open paint by clicking on the start, then all programs, then accessories, then paint. Click on the paint button and select the open option. The open window appears. Select the location where the file is saved. Select the file name that you have saved from the list. Click on the open button. You will find the same drawing. Students, let us understand how to edit the existing file. Select tool. The select tool is used to select any part of the picture that we want to change. Click on the select tool on the image group. Bring the mouse pointer over the object that is to be selected. Click and hold down the left mouse button and then drag around the outer boundary of the object. Release the mouse button when it is completely selected. Resizing or screwing the picture. The size of the picture can be increased or decreased vertically or horizontally. Select the drawing by covering its boundary using the Select tool. Click on any of its corners. The resizing handle will appear. Hold the left mouse button and drag the handle inward to decrease the size. Drag outward to increase the size. Understand how to use tools group. The tools group has many tools that have different functions. These tools help us in making drawings. To use any tool in the tools group, simply click on it. The tool will be selected. Move the pointer to the drawing area. Press and hold down the left mouse button. Now drag the mouse to draw a picture. When the picture is complete, release the button. Students, let me give you a tip. To know the name of a tool, place the pointer on that tool. Pencil tool. The pencil tool is used to draw free form lines or curves. Select the pencil tool from the tools group. Select any color from the colors group. Move the pointer to the drawing area. Press and hold down the left mouse button and drag the pointer to draw kites as shown in the figure. Adding text. Click on the text tool. The pointer changes to eye shape. Click and drag the pointer on the drawing area where you want to place the text. A dotted rectangular box will appear with a blinking cursor inside it. Type the text as shown in the text box. Eraser tool. The eraser tool is used to erase any part of a picture. Select the eraser tool from the tool group. Choose the size of the eraser by clicking on the desired option in the size button menu. A square will appear in the drawing area. 
Hold down the left mouse button and move it on the area that you want to erase. Brush tool Brush tool is used to draw objects with different kinds of brushes. To use it, click on the brushes drop down arrow. Select any brush type from the list of available options. Select any color from the colors group. Move the pointer to the drawing area. Press and hold down the left mouse button and drag the mouse to draw different lines. Using Airbrush Tool Airbrush Tool is used to spray color on the drawing area. Select any color from the colors group. Click on the brushes drop down arrow and select the airbrush option. Select the desired spray size from the size button. Move the mouse pointer onto the drawing area. Click the mouse button on the area where you want to spray the color. Students know that in the same manner you can make use of other brushes. Let us understand how to edit the existing file. Select tool. The select tool is used to select any part of the picture that we want to change. Click on the select tool on the image group. Bring the mouse pointer over the object that is to be selected. Click and hold down the left mouse button and then drag around the outer boundary of the object. Release the mouse button when it is completely selected. Resizing or screwing the picture. The size of the picture can be increased or decreased vertically or horizontally. Select the drawing by covering its boundary using the Select tool. Click on any of its corners. The resizing handle will appear. Hold the left mouse button and drag the handle inward to decrease the size. Drag outward to increase the size. How to save the drawing? It is important to save your work at short intervals so that you do not lose it in case of power failure. Click on the paint button and select the save option. The save as window appears on the screen. Type a name in the file name box. Click on the save button. Now your drawing is saved in the computer. Now let us learn how to close paint window. In order to close the paint window, click on the close button placed at the top right corner of the window or click on the paint button and select the exit option. Students, let me tell you how to open the saved drawing. The drawing that you have saved can be opened anytime. To open a saved drawing, first open paint by clicking on the start, then all programs, then accessories, then paint. 
Click on the paint button and select the open option. The open window appears. Select the location where the file is saved. Select the file name that you have saved from the list. Click on the open button. You will find the same drawing.